Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now, there is some very, very exciting news if you're a Rugby League fan, and if, I guess, if you're watching this video, you're watching uh, my channel over the years, you know this is a Rugby League live channel for the game, and the new one is coming out, Rugby League Live 4. It comes out next month on the 28th of July, and I'm so, so excited. It's what we've been waiting for. Um, in terms of the previous ones, they've announced them in advance, and it's been a while. There's been some speculation on release dates, but this one's come up pretty quickly from the time it was announced that the game's coming out to the release date. There hasn't been too much time, but also with the release date being announced, there was also the first trailer, I'm guessing the only trailer, but um, a trailer has been released. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a look at the trailer for the first time and sort of give my live reactions as, as we go through and, and watch it. Okay, here we go. Looking at the trailer, Dugan. So far, I'm noticing a lot of the player models are very, very good. So far, in terms of they look a little bit weird, like he looks to be running a little bit weird, but you can at least tell who that was. So we've got Jordan Rapana on the ball. Um, actually, looks quite good. Even that the chip looked a bit better, although the ball looked a bit strange. Uh, they have replayed uh, the same clips over and over again, which is uh, a little bit weird, to be honest. But that was a really nice one. That was a really nice animation. And also the second person coming in. There we go, the three people over the sideline. And here's my beloved Bulldogs getting destroyed by Andrew Fafita. That's that's some bullshit right there. That's so unrealistic. We all know three plays would not have gotten the tackle. They would have just went through and scored. Tamalalo, bulldozing people. Got Ash Taylor kicking the field goal. Or is it Tyron Roberts? I have no idea. No, Ash Taylor, obviously. Judging by that little clip there. Now, I've got to say, for a trailer, it was a little bit weird. They replayed a lot of clips. Um... Yeah, like I said, they replayed a lot of clips, um, so it's just the same ones over and over again. Um, some of the animations, they look good, but they also look a little bit robotic as well, which is a little bit strange, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the trailer. I mean, they could have they could have literally put up a pile of shit, and I probably would have thought it was good, just because we're finally going to get a new Rugby League Live 4, or Rugby League game, I should say. But, um, yeah, I mean, if I given a rating or something out of 10, I'd probably give it like a 7, but... Um, yeah, the game looks okay, but at the same time, trailers, they, they always look half decent. Um, it's a matter of, we, we want to see actual gameplay footage before we sort of make any sort of assessment on if it's going to be better or not. I'm sure there's going to be people in the comment section below, people on other people's videos, people on Facebook pages, leaving comments going, this one looks trash or this one looks really good, and just, like, you're kidding yourself if you're going to look at that trailer and say whether it's going to be good or bad, purely based off that. I mean, you got to, there's so many different things to factor in. Probably better assessment would be off um, the goal kicking video, which I think, I'll just give a quick little thoughts on that. Uh, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, it does look okay. Um, I don't think it looks outstanding or anything. This is, what I'm, this is what I'm putting it down to so far, what I've seen for a big live for, uh, in terms of different like screenshots and stuff. Graphics look kind of okay sometimes, other times they look a bit shit, the animations look a little bit uh, off sometimes, sometimes look good, it kind of just depends on, on what you're seeing. Now I think the one where Andrew Fafita scored was really, really nice, I think it was Sam Burgess putting on um, like a bit of a, a big hit, I thought that animation looked really good, and like especially when the second person came in, I guess the brother came in, and um, sort of put in the, the second one, a lot more of those sort of animations would be great. But uh, I kept the feeling it's going to be like on Rugby League Live 3, we also saw the dragging animation and we're like, oh my god, this is going to be amazing. And that ended up kind of being, mm, it was okay, but it wasn't that good. So fingers crossed it's, it's nothing like that because in Rugby League Live 3, it was like any anytime you're near the line, all you have to do is get that animation, spam the shit out of um, the try button and you, you've got a guaranteed try. It wasn't that hard. So... Hopefully, uh, it's not going to be overpowered or anything. Anyways, that's just a quick little analysis or a quick little uh, first impressions is probably a better a better word for it um, of the, the release trailer. Uh, hopefully, you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'm going to be trying to post a lot of Rope League Live 4 content. So, uh, stay tuned on the channel. I'm leaving the comment section below. What were your impressions of the video? Uh, good, bad, anything you noticed, anything you picked up? Um, I thought the, the contest for the kick was actually a lot better as well, which is which is quite nice. But um, yeah, so far I'm liking that the player models look pretty good. And yeah, there's, there's a lot of good... Uh, well, in the right direction is, is what, what I'm trying to say. Uh, I've got a lot of good little things so far that we've noticed. And uh, no sort of glaring sort of... It's, it's not like we're looking at it and going, oh my god, this looks shit. Well, at least in my opinion anyways. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you for my next video. Bye, guys.